Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm going to be showing you how to collect files in Premiere Pro. And what this does is it's going to allow you to easily share your project with someone else. It's going to also allow you to easily organize your project. So if you, you know, grab pieces of footage from across your entire computer, you can put them all into one location and it'll organize the whole file structure for you. And then with that file structure, since everything is now within one folder, you can take that folder, you can bring it to another computer, you can bring it to a, another person's computer and they can open it up or you can open it up on another computer and have it working. So let's just jump right into it. It's a really, really simple thing to do. It's just kind of hidden in the menu a little bit. So we have a you know simple composition here, nothing special, just literally throwing a couple pieces here. We have some unused footage. We have have just regular footage over here and so we just have this project going and now this is these pieces of footage are all across my hard drive they're in multiple different locations so if I took this project and I dragged it onto um, for example another computer and tried to open it it would be media offline errors all across the place because I'd have to have all of these files with it so I'd have to go find all of them put them on the file as well and if I miss one you know it just gets tedious so what you can do is you can go up here to file and then you can go down to the project manager right here. Once you click on the project manager, it'll bring up this. You just check all the sequences you want to include. Then you hit collect files and copy to a new location. You can also consolidate and transcode the files, which is gonna take them and transcode them um, it together, uh, making it smaller overall. But we're gonna be going over collect files right here. And then you have some options over here. So maybe we want to keep the unused clips. Maybe that's part of the project. We just haven't gotten to that yet. So we can unclick this right here and it'll actually keep the clips with us. But maybe this is the final sequence and we just want to share this. So let's just going to go ahead and clean it up for us. If we click on this, it'll only include anything that's used. And then you have the stuff like including the audio conform files, preview files, rename, stuff like that. So this is also the metadata that you've created as you've created your products. Uh, project and the reason it's checked is because a lot of times those are important to the project so you kind of want to include them with the project once you're done all you gotta do is find a destination path so click right here and I'm gonna go to my desktop we're just gonna make ourselves a new folder right here and I'm going to go ahead and name it um, let's go with project click OK I'm gonna hit select folder right there and so now it's selected on there you can calculate how big the si the file size is gonna be um, since it's going to be excluding a lot of footage from here, it's going to be 114.61 megabytes. That's what the whole project folder is going to be. And then all you got to do is click OK. You'll see copying media. Now once I drop this down and I go, the project folder is right here, the new one I created. I'm going to double click on that. And you'll see we have copied export stuff. That's my, uh, the project name was export stuff. So this is copied export stuff. And you'll notice that the file hierarchy is right here. It's got the media cache that it copied over, the preview files for the audio and video, the project, and then the video files right beneath here. If you stored things in bins inside of Premiere Pro, it'll store them in bins in here as well to keep the same organization level going. And now if I double click on this, it's going to bring up Premiere Pro and make this large. And now you'll see this is exactly the same project, except now we have only the four pieces of footage that I used, or the three pieces and the sequence that I used, and it is exactly the same. All the settings are the same, and everything is kept neat and clean. And now if I took this file right here, and I dragged it onto another computer, copied it onto a flash drive, whatever, and brought it to another computer with Premiere, all it had to do is double click it, and all the links are right inside this file, so no matter where I go, it'll work. And that is the beauty of being able to do this. What's neat is this isn't only on Premiere you can do this. You can also do this on After Effects. So I just went ahead and created just a, exactly like a mock project in here as well. And here it's a little easier actually. You can just go to File, Dependencies, Collect Files. Click on it here, save the project, and put where you want it to go. And it'll do the exact same thing for you. So both these you know, programs have this really, really neat feature. And it's a great feature so that you can share, so that you can move computers and just have a nice, and it's also great if you want to just have the computer organize your file hierarchy for you. That is going to be it on this tutorial. Thank you everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I make a double related content every other day. So yeah, until next time guys, see ya.